A friend of mine came across this Magnus organ, and he asked me if I had any interest in it. Frankly, I'd never heard of it, nor seen one, so my interest was immediately piqued. At first I thought it was some kind of Casio keyboard, because of the plastic housing and the chord buttons. But this instrument is really a lot older, somewhere from the 1960s, far before Casio even made their first keyboards. On the far right there is a kind of volume control. Hmm, I'm curious how that should work, because this is an acoustical instrument without electronic amplification. Ok, let's take a peek inside by removing some screws. Whoa, that is pretty dirty. On top you can see the valves. That's where the air passes through the tongues. Let's see if there's more to learn about the air supply in the box beneath. So there you have it, the electrical motor, which is also the biggest problem of this instrument. Listen for yourself. The noise is terrible and makes the instrument unusable for studio recordings. Of course, it will only make a sound if the air is carried through correctly, so the top must be placed back for that. Aha! The volume slider is just some kind of air valve. The more air, the more volume. Clever engineering! It reminds me of a vacuum cleaner. Speaking of… Ok, let's do some cleaning before starting the recording. Maybe that reduces the noise. There's a kind of belly at the rear, a small room for the tongues when the air flows when pressing the keys. Well, at least they seem to work. Now let's listen how it sounds. It sounds a bit like a melodica. The only difference is, is that the air is supplied electrically. But the electric motor still makes too much noise. And there's one other thing that strikes me. The box containing the electric motor acts as a resonator which amplifies the noise. Let's listen how it sounds after recording. Maybe the sounds drown out the noise. No, it definitely did not. Let's use the denoiser and listen what happens to the overall quality of the sound. Well, that's a big difference and it doesn't seem to affect the sound too much. So, things are going in the right direction, but I needed to try one more thing first. It's the huge sound box that bothers me. It resonates and amplifies the noise of the electric motor. So I decided to put some insulating material in the box to absorb the noise. A bit arranging and rearranging. It doesn't have to be very neat for this sampling purpose. I put a nail through the layers to fasten them. Ok, let's have a listen at it now. That sounds better already. But it's still noisy. Let's listen to the difference with the previous recording. Well, that's a big improvement. The noise has become less and there's a consistent buzz now that can be removed easily. So, let's start sampling. All notes will be recorded three times. Two of the best will be chosen for contact. Sampling is always a decent job and must be done accurately. Now let's see how much noise can be removed while maintaining the quality. That sounded great. Time for rendering, a final check and all samples can be exported for contact. I already made a skin for contact and this is how it sounds. With the built-in convolution reverb, its controls for volume and tremolo via bender and modulation wheel, this 1960s instrument is fully reborn again. And available for all musicians out there. You can download the Magnus online, links in the description. If you like this video, it would be great if you hit the subscribe button.